Hello, everyone. I'm Kieran Thomas. I'm a program manager on the Teams platform team. I'm going to give you a demo of an upgrade that we're doing to one of our Teams app templates called AskAway. And uh, yeah, hopefully you'll like it and see what's uh, possible within a Teams meeting. And uh, this uh, give you a little preview of what this is going to look like uh, once it's released in a couple of weeks. With that, I'll give you first a little description of what AskAway is. AskAway is an app template that is available now that uh, helps you conduct a Q&A session on Teams. So say one of your uh, team members wants to do an Ask Me Anything session where they anyone can ask them a question and they can give an answer you know, in a very organized fashion. They can do it directly from Teams, and that's what AskAway does. So before doing the demo, want to make sure uh, you're aware of uh, other app templates as well. App templates are uh, local or simple solutions that we build and deploy or publish to GitHub. Uh, so you can take these and they're ready to use as an app on Teams. You can publish them. Some of them are available to publish on Azure. Some of them are Power App based ones. They're simple to deploy. You just have to follow the steps on GitHub and uh, you can make these your own. So you can change the name. Uh, you know, add new features to it, configure it, and um, use it as your own. And a little bit more of what the benefits are of doing these. These app templates are already published as full apps, so you don't need to do any coding to play with these and test them out. And like I mentioned earlier, you can customize it, change the icons, change the branding, make it your own. And these are built to be you know, have all the privacy concepts in mind and securely deploy. And there's no need to make any changes once you get this rolled out to your Teams environment if you don't have the need for it. Cool. With that, let me give you a little preview of um, what AskAway is. Like I mentioned, AskAway is uh, already live, and we're now working on adding some new additional features to it that makes it work in meetings. And that's what I'm going to focus my demo today. But uh, in case, say, you work in a company and one of your um, uh, managers or say vice presidents wants to do uh, a session where any of his employees can ask uh, questions, he can then host that. And another example of, or a few examples of things that a host or a moderator would want to do as part of a Q&A session is, you know, be able to host either live during a Teams meeting like we have right now, or maybe they want to just post the questions and chat and do it asynchronously then uh, you know, you'd want to be able to see what the most popular questions are and things like that. And as an attendee, you want to ask questions, see what others are asking, and so on. With that, let's set up the scenario of what kind of what we're going to walk through today. So let's pretend that uh, your organization is rolling out teams and people have a lot of questions, and you want to be able to offer um, an avenue where they can come and ask questions and get all their questions answered. So with that, and jump into a Teams client. So I've set up a, a meeting, uh, which is what you're looking at here. You can see uh, this is the meeting pane within uh, my Teams desktop. I've already put in all the details. I've invited Vesa to it. Because I expect a lot of attendees to be part of this meeting and only I want to be the presenter, or I want to control that, the first thing I'm going to do is go into this uh, More Options section will open up the meeting options. And what I'm going to do is make sure that it's set to who can present, only me. You know, if I didn't mind everyone being able to create new sessions or ask questions, that would be fine. But I expect hundreds of people to join. And so I'm going to select only me. And this allows me to control what kind of functionality uh, AskAway will uh, enable for different users. So I click Save. Everything looks good. Let's go back to my meeting here. And now uh, up top, you can see there's a tab uh, option. I've already added AskAway, but I'll show you what it would be like to ask uh, add it from the start. If I hit that plus button, it gives me options for what kind of tabs I can add to my meeting. And AskAway is a meetings um, capable app. So let's we'll close out of this and jump into my tab, which I've already opened. And you can see this is the default view before a meeting starts for Ask away. So the few options you have is you can click this button to start a new session. If you have had multiple sessions in the past, you can click this button to do that. In this case, let's kick off a new session. 
And let's call it ask anything, anything about Teams transition. Give it a nice little description to help people and prompt people to ask questions. Once you do that, it'll refresh and give you a success message. Hey, so now our Ask Away session is live. People can start ask questions and they can do it either via the chat or uh, the meeting. Let's take a look at how to do that. So this is the tab view where you can ask a question. Um, let's see, how do I start a call? Let's do something simple like that and post this question here. And that question gets posted so you can see it here uh, within the tab of a meeting. Now let's uh, pretend that I'm going to join the meeting. I've already got it going, so let's switch over. So you can see here, this is the meeting view um, where people can join like we are in our current meeting. And when I started the session, it gave, uh, gave me a notification saying, you know, this person has started the session. Here's the uh, title of the session. And what I can do is I'll open the meeting pane. So what I'm going to do is dismiss this and click the Ask Away icon up top, which is where I can view and interact with the uh, questions and sessions within the meeting. So once I click that, it should hopefully load. There it goes. You can see the details of it, and I can now start interacting with the app and ask questions directly from the meeting pane. I see the title of it, which questions have already been asked, what are the pending questions. Let's ask uh, another question here directly from the pane. And once you do that, this also shows up here. I can upload it. I can't upload my own questions, so that's why I can't demo that now, but anyone else would be able to do that. And um, now that uh, because I'm a moderator and I have the presenter access, I can uh, have this view where I can see the uh, check mark, which what it does is it'll mark it as answered. So once I'm, uh, I've answered one of these questions, I can check that and it'll get moved to a different section. If I wasn't a presenter, this button would not be enabled for me. So let's try click that. What that should do is it'll disappear from the spending question section and it'll show up in this um, other section here, which under answered questions. And uh, not only within the meeting itself, but if I switch back and go into the chat, uh, you can see how I can interact with this as a card as well. So a card got posted, the chat that helps um, users who want to interact with it or maybe ask questions before the meeting starts, they can do that here. You have the same kind of functionality where you can see upvotes, you can click on an upvote questions, can ask new questions, same kind of capabilities are available there as well. So for example, if I click on that, it shows me you know, what my own questions were, what all uh, the others' questions are. And once I'm done with the entire Ask Away session, because I am, again, the person who started it and I have the presenter access, I can click the end session button to say, okay, we're done with the question answer session. We are not planning to gather any more questions. and this will now be ended. So what this does is it ends the session across all of it and oops, run into a error, pardon me, but yeah, pretend that this um, ended the session and you would this question would disappear. Kind of like here, oh, there we go. We have an, a one that successfully ended and you wouldn't be able to ask any questions. You can view past questions. So hopefully that gives you an idea. One other feature that I want to quickly flash for you is what it looks like uh, when there's lots of questions, um, which I don't have the time for. So you can clearly see within the tab, which are the answered questions, which are the pending questions, and it tags it, and you can see the upvotes. And say you have, uh, you want to look at the questions that were asked in a past session, you can click this button, which will then open up a module that gives you a lot of other sessions that you can switch to. If you click one of those, it'll open up that session and you can see that one is closed, uh, but you can still view the, how many uh, votes it got, which ones were answered, which ones were pending. So hopefully this gives you a good idea of what you can do with hosting a Q&A session directly within a Teams meeting and how easy it is to do it and how you can make it much easier for your uh, host and moderator to do it. And just to reiterate some things that are common across app templates, these apps are easy to deploy and you don't need to be uh, you know, an experienced developer to do this. 
if you have access to your Azure environment as an admin with admin rights, and you know uh, how to uh, read through and do basic uh, scripting and things like that, you can deploy it yourself. And they, they don't cost anything, they're open source, uh, other than the cost of running the Azure resources, there's no cost to use or operate these. So the, you can completely make this your own app. And with that, that's the end of my demo. Thank you all. I'll keep an eye on the chat to see if you have any questions. But uh, otherwise, thanks for listening in. Thank you, Kiran. Uh, another really useful Teams app template. Uh, so there's so many of these, and, and they're all just very good and useful. So thanks for sharing this one. Thank you.